a purple, thistle-like flower. The text reads, Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, Science in the Park, Spotted Knapweed, with a National Park Service arrowhead in the top right corner. A park ranger kneeling in a field of small and purple brown plants. Hi there! My name's Christina, and I'm an invasive species educator at Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. Today, I'm looking at an invasive species called spotted knapweed. Invasive species are plants or animals that were brought here from other places that cause harm to the environment. All of the purple and brown that you see here is spotted knapweed. Ranger Christina kneeling in a field of spotted knapweed. Are you ready to see a spotted knapweed up close? Different close-up angles of the spotted knapweed plant. This is spotted knapweed. It has long, thin stems that grow two to four feet tall with gray-green leaves. The flowers are small, oval, and thistle-like. They can be pink or purple. The name spotted knapweed comes from stiff, black-tipped bracts under the petals. A bract is a modified leaf or scale, which usually is found above the leaves but below the flowers. These upside down V's can look like spots. Text appears, where can you find it? Ranger Christina standing on sand dunes. You can find spotted knapweed in dry, open habitat with sandy soils. Here at Pictured Rocks, it grows along the roadways, in the dunes, and along the beaches. Close up of Ranger Christina's face. This plant steals nutrients from native plants and releases harmful chemicals into the soil. Ranger Christina standing on sand dunes. Because of this, native plants can't survive in soil with spotted knapweed. Each plant can produce up to 4,000 seeds a year. And those seeds can stay in the ground for years before they sprout. This lets the spotted knapweed spread fast and push out other plants quickly being plovers, like to nest in sandy beaches and in the dunes. And that's where spotted knapweed likes to grow too. So it takes all the best nesting spots and these already endangered birds are left homeless. Text appears, where is it from? Ranger Christina is standing in front of a world map. Knapweed. A red arrow originates in Europe and points to North America. But Europe is so far away, so how did it get across the ocean? The seeds from spotted knapweed contaminated or snuck into a shipment of agricultural goods from Europe to North America. A cargo America. ship pops up in These the top right seeds corner. These were set free when people unpacked the goods from the ship and started using them without knowing the spotted knapweed was in there. So, why is it okay in Europe, then? Ranger Christina is standing in front of a backdrop of a classic European city street. It's because spotted knapweed is native to Europe, and there it has natural predators to keep it in check. In Europe, other organisms evolved or developed slowly over time with the spotted knapweed. These native organisms help control the spread of the spotted knapweed and it keeps it in check. These European organisms weren't brought to North America with it though, and so here the spotted knapweed spreads like crazy and it's a massive pest. Text appears control methods. Ranger Christina standing on a hiking path surrounded by a fall colored forest. Biologists use several techniques such as digging out and removing roots, mowing down the plant before it seeds, and spraying the plants with a chemical called herbicide. Biological controls include releasing some of spotted knapweed's predators in areas with bad infestations. But biological controls can take a long time because insect populations need time to grow big enough to eat all the spotted knapweed. Did you know? Ranger you Christina know kneeling you can in the field of spotted, the knapweed. spotted knapweed. Too? Spotted Ranger Christina sitting on a rock with a trail and a lake in the background. Can cause bad headaches. 
What you can do, though, is keep your shoes clean and free of mud that could hold invasive plant seeds. Always use a boot brush, like this, before and after hiking so you don't bring invasive seeds to a new location. For Christina, holding up a hand if you go mountain brush. biking, keep those tires clean too. Invasive species like to hitch rides in the dirt on tires. If you do other outdoor activities, while posing with money mountain bikes, take the time to clean your gear when you're done. Mud on tent stakes or tackle boxes could also hold invasive species that you could accidentally take with out their tent to a new and location clean off the tent next stakes. time you use them. Encourage adults to keep their hiking shoes and bicycle tires clean, as well as their car tires, before and after road trips. Do it again. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted a different cut. We all have to do our part to help stop this invasion. Enter Christina kneeling in a field of spotted napweed. Great Lakes Restoration logo appears next to a silhouette of the Great Lakes. The words, the National Park Service is a federal partner in the implementation of the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative appear. The National Park Service arrowhead on a black background. 